some thoughts on the Brahms uh, fourth symphony second movement excerpt um, I, first off I think the sound world is is very different from any of the other things that we've been playing for this um, for this set of audition uh, excerpts um, I, I definitely think Brahms has a very dense or needs a very dense um, uh, sound quality and you know a lot very rich kind of um, sound sound world there um, the other thing is to make sure that your dotted rhythms um, sound very even right from from down bow to up bow um there's a lot of hooks in this in this uh version of the piece and um and i think it's important to make sure that you uh that you can't hear the difference between a down bow and an up bow for instance um at the very end uh make sure that you save a little dynamic for the fortissimo for these last two lines and then um i definitely think that you need to have some um, separation between the notes, but they don't need to be super short. So um, definitely, sort of a long, a long off-ish kind of stroke. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed Ted Bossard's excerpts and his explanation of these masterworks of amazing works of art by Mozart and Bach. Oh, just probably the best symphonies ever. The bass parts are just so cool to perform. And maybe if you keep practicing, you could be like Ted and playing in world famous orchestra with the greatest musicians getting to play these major works like he gets to do. So it's really inspiring to have him explain what to think about. So uh, how he plays is really, really helpful. And I hope that it inspires you to understand that we all love to play solo bass, but don't forget that you're also very good and can go and play in your orchestras, from your school orchestra, to your community orchestras, to youth symphonies, to district and state. It's just fantastic stuff out there. A lifetime of enjoyment of playing the bass, not just solos, but orchestra parts, so much fun. Oh, you're going to love it. Ted was George's student, and George was very clever at putting orchestras in his method, from the Mahler, which many of you know, to the Elephant, Beethoven's Ninth. We hope this leads you down this path of getting inspired to the, learning these masterworks, and playing bass for all kinds of ensembles. Keep practicing, and we hope to see you at the next KC Bass event. Have fun.